Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to One Skill Slide Builder. It's a flexible PowerPoint template that will help you build anything in PowerPoint. Even now you can see a bunch of slides sliding and flying in the background. All of those slides were created with the help of Slide Builder. So ladies and gentlemen, fasten your seat belts and let me show you how easy it is to get started working with One Skill Slide Builder. Let's go! So the first thing I want you to do when you open up the One Skill Slide Builder, go to the left side of your window and find these two words, Quick Start. So then right click and choose Collapse All. By doing this action, you will collapse all of the slides and then you will see the names of the slide sections. And if you have never seen slide sections before, so this is just a nice feature to group your slides into some kind of categories. So now you can see the whole structure of one skill slide builder. So we have the quick start. So inside here we just have this first slide with the introduction. On the second slide I will actually put a link and a thumbnail of this video that you are watching right now. So this will be the place for this instructional video. And now comes the fun part. You have two options how to start building your slides. So you can start with a builder slides. So a builder slide is just a pre-built slide for you so that you can grab any slide that you like and that you could edit it, change it and use it for anything that you might need. So this is just a, you know, just a quick start for you to start working. So as you can see I have created a couple of builder slides. It was not my goal to create thousands and thousands of builder slides because my goal here is to actually teach you how you could create anything that you want. So this is just a few examples. Another way you can choose and I guess the way that most of the people choose is starting from scratch. You just open up PowerPoint, open up a blank new slide and you start building your slide. So in case you create your presentation from scratch, in my opinion you have to make three important decisions. So first of all you need to choose what kind, what kind of designs you will use for your PowerPoint presentation. And actually there is a good way to set up your fonts in your text boxes so that later on if you would like to change with just a few mouse clicks fonts for your entire presentation so you would have to set up <laughs> your fonts in the correct way. And basically when you create a text box, uh, I hope you know how to create a text box. So in case you don't know anything at all about PowerPoint I will put a yeah, a video link in the video description, so 10 things PowerPoint beginners want to know how to do, so it will be like uh, something something for you uh, useful if you don't know anything at all. But if you know how to create a text box, so you select a text box and when you click, when you choose a font, make sure that you choose a theme font, theme font, because if you would choose any other font, later on if you would like to change the fonts for your entire presentation it would not work if you would uh, if you would have selected some other fonts than the theme fonts so have this in mind okay so the next stop is the color palette uh, perhaps you would have to adapt your presentation to your corporate design colors or to your website design colors so again uh, you have to do something in the correct way. <laughs> well, let me just show you an example. For example, when you create some kind of shape, let's go to insert, go to shapes, for example, this uh, circle, and make sure that you select shapes from your color palette. And let me just uh, set back the transparency because I think it's transparent. Yeah, so make sure, let's add a few more uh, circles. And let's set different colors to those circles and make sure that you select colors from your color palette because let me show you what happens when later on you decide to change the color palette by going to design variance colors and see what happens when you mouse over different color palettes the colors of those elements are changing automatically 
because if you would choose some kind of custom color no let me just uh, yeah choose some kind of custom color let's say something like this it would not change automatically let me let me demonstrate it to you so again let's go to design colors and see the rest of the of the elements are changing automatically while this custom color is not changing automatically so keep this in mind when you are creating some infographics or some elements i would say the the good practice is to assign colors from your color palette so later on it would be much more easier to change those colors automatically but of course if you have some special custom color and you just need to use that color of course use it the third important decision you have to make is the slide layout you have to know where your pictures will be where your text boxes will be maybe some icons and maybe some infographics and with the one scale slide builder it's pretty easy to change slide layouts just click on any slide right click on it go to layouts and pick your favorite uh, slide layout again i have created a few of those slide layouts and in the future follow-up tutorials i will show you how you can create any custom slide layout for yourself okay okay so after you have decided how you will, will <laughs> how you will start either with a builder slide or from scratch next you will have lots of resources that are available to you so let's open up resources for charts uh, the most important thing about this resource is to show you that your charts don't have to look boring. They don't have to look like those old school bar charts. Actually, you can create custom shapes for your columns. And these uh, all columns, they are actually editable. You can change the number and the number will update. So let me just quickly demonstrate it to you. You know, this is not just some kind of picture that uh, you will have to manually change every time you just edit data for example you can see here is a number 2000 so let's make it 3500 let's hit enter and you can see it has updated automatically and of course i'll sh create a <laughs> tutorial showing you how you can create any shape for your for your charts maybe you would like to create some hearts or maybe you would like to create some skyscrapers imagine that here would be some skyscrapers for each of the columns that would look cool okay so the next resource is infographics so for the infographics as you can see i have only two slides at the moment well because you know now we have only version 1.00 so you know things are still in the process but again, my purpose is not to create all possible infographics in the world, but actually to show you the process, how you could create some infographics yourself. And again, when you select the colors for the, these elements in your infographics, make sure that you use the colors from the color palette. Because later on, if you would decide to go to design colors and change the color palette, you could easily change the colors of your infographics just like that choose anything that you like okay let's leave it at legendary so beautiful and the next resource is icons you have general icons you have electronics e-commerce and a bunch of other beautiful icons and it's really very easy to use those icons for example let's uh, copy this icon just select the icon hit ctrl c to copy let's go to the our builder slide section and i had one slide with the icons so for example oh i actually have selected the same icon <laughs> so for example you don't like this icon so let's delete it and let's find something from e-commerce or maybe from electronics okay let's let's copy this icon and we can paste it over here we can resize it we can change the color beautiful let's resize it so it looks has the same same size like the rest of the photos 
and just like that you can use your icons and you can you know express your ideas in a visual way so let me collapse all of these sections again so that we can better see the structure okay icons so the next resource is maps you know sometimes you need to maybe show some statistics to your audience so you, you have editable maps you can select different countries and again you can you know color them with different colors so we have us canada europe india australia if you would know where we could find more editable app maps and that i could include in this free one skill slide builder let me know in the comments below and i will gladly include the rest of the possible country maps that are available somewhere in the internet okay the next thing is device mockups sometimes you might need to show your products i mean to show how your products or your website looks on different devices to your to your audience so it's uh, pretty easy to change uh, the pictures in the device mockup so for example first we select the full screen uh, body full screen background picture we delete it we select a new picture for example this one uh, now we make sure that we send it to back so that it does not you know obstruct the view of the phones now we delete the pictures inside of the phones we click on this icon which says pictures and we select any picture that we want for example let's use the same picture and just like that you can change the pictures in your devices so that's beautiful and the last resource at the moment is slide gradients or color overlays so basically if you have a full screen or full slide picture let's change the picture whoops to something like this and let's send it to back so you can put a color or, or slide gradient on top of it and you can create this uh, color like effect for your photos and these uh, slide gradients are really useful if you are creating maybe uh, slide sections or slide breaks between different parts of your presentation or it's really useful for your first slide or for your title slide of your presentation you can just type here your presentation name it and it will be a nice uh, title slide so ladies and gentlemen it was uh, you know my mission with this video to quickly show you how you can quickly get started and as i said before i will create a bunch of follow-up uh, tutorials uh, which will explain to you in much greater detail every aspect of this slide builder so you can better understand and better use this great uh, powerpoint template <laughs> and yeah let me just quickly show you how you can manipulate for example this uh, builder slides so of course you can select the picture you can delete it you can change you can select a different picture for example something like this well it's again looks like a forest <laughs> so it looks very very similar let's choose something like this okay so now you can change the slide layout just right click on the slide you can choose a bubble uh, you can choose a brush no something like this just move your photo <laughs> so that it does not uh, in the in the way you can choose something like this so please just uh, experiment experiment with all of the possible slide layouts and of course i will show you in the future how you can create any slide layout for yourself and again you can change uh, the fonts by going to design fonts and here you have some pre-made uh, preset font pairs and uh, that you can choose and that is beautiful so ladies and gentlemen thank you for watching this instructional video uh, let me know what kind of aspects of the slide builder you would like me to explain in greater detail and maybe you'd like me to add some features in the future so let me know as well i will put this uh, one skill slide builder available for download in my patreon page so absolutely for free 
And if you don't know what is Patreon, so Patreon is just a way to support your artists or your favorite creators. As you know, I create everything for free and if you choose to support me, I would be so happy I would be the happiest PowerPoint creator in the world or maybe in the universe, who knows. So if you're new to the channel, please subscribe so you don't miss my future videos. And if you enjoyed this video, if you got some um, useful ideas, please like this video and share it with your friends. So thank you for watching once again and see you in my next video.